Okay, here I got my electrical tape, which, again, I forgot to add to the materials list. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of off my game, I guess. And we're going to wrap around the plunder head one and a half times. This is the electrical tape doesn't really stick because of the lubricants on the plunder head. You can choose to wash it if you want to, but it doesn't really matter too much. And I say it doesn't matter just because we are going to be putting these O-rings on, both the stock O-ring right here and the new Danko number 14 O-ring. And I put both those on the plunger head. Now I test the seal. And see, this is. To me, I guess you can't really uh, tell, but it's much, much, much better on the seal. And uh, it's tighter, but it's still loose enough that uh, it's, the spring won't have too much trouble pushing it forward and it won't slow down, especially once I add more lubricants. But before we can add lubricants, we had to have plunger head padding. And yet here's this foam. I'm just gonna press this in pretty hard. So you can make an indentation in your foam. I don't know if you can see that. And we're going to cut out that indentation, and I'll just uh, goop it on right to the plunger head. And here I use plumber's goop to uh, attach the seal, or not the seal, the um, foam to the plunger head. And I did use plumber's goop because plumber's goop is airtight. And as some people may know, the um, air can leak through the screw threads and not the other side and um, that's where people can lose their perfect seal. This little segment is just to show you how much silicone grease you should use. Uh, this is how much I use. I've never really seen a video on how much people use but I find this works pretty well. I just get a fingertip and I spread a thin layer on my o-rings all the way around. And then take the plunder tube, and take another fingertip, and spread it all the way around on the inside to make sure I get full coverage. Oops. Okay, and then slide this in. I always take it in at an angle. And then, oopsies, my. Oh. Okay, and once you get it in here, then just uh, pull it back and forth a few times to make sure that's well looped up. And I also, you can see I put my industrial strength in ace number two catch spring, which is actually the only catch spring I use just because it's really strong and it's readily available at my local ace hardware. Okay, here I have my coupler. I wrapped it in one layer of e-tape, only one because it's pretty snug fitting. And I got it in there. I'm just gonna press it down. Kind of twist it in to make sure it's very, very straight as you're doing this. Ah, very snug. I don't even know. I'm, I uh, have it in a layer of goop. May not be completely necessary, but uh, it's always better safe than sorry to have the airtight seal. And you try to get pretty low in there, like so, and then I'm wrapping around the excess goop on the edge to make it uh, completely sealed all the way around, like so. And make sure to test fit inside of your night finder. Like I'm doing here to make sure that it's going to fit. And it looks like mine needs to be pressed in a tiny bit more because mine's not going to fit in the shell yet. And you want to make sure it fits in the shell with a tiny bit of room. Once I get that, I'll show you how it turns out. As you can see here, I've now screwed the plunder tube into the blaster. And there's a little white piece of thin wall PVC that's in there. So when the plunger rod comes and the plunger head hits the coupler, then this will stop it and it'll hit the shell and it'll stop it from just pushing out completely and breaking that seal that we need. And I use thin wall PVC because that way the half inch C PVC can fit through really nicely. 
Okay, here is the finished product. Uh, I don't know why I just spun it. But anyway, it has a CPVC coupler internal. I use a 4 inch barrel, which I found was best for this. And you can just stick it right on there. It's a great seal. You can see that. And um, only thing I would suggest is using a thinner material for cushioning the plunger head. Like I actually just found that I do have this thinner craft foam, which I wish I would have used just because uh, you don't really need the such thick craft foam for this modification. And um, it would have given me a little bit more draw length to get a bit more power. I'm getting 70-ish, uh, I would say maybe 72 average between 70 and 75 feet out of this, and that's flats, not angles, and that is with slug darts. Uh, probably more with streamlines, less with stock darts. And um, it's it turned out really well. I don't really plan on using this ever. I actually may open it up and use it for the level 2 modification tutorial since, um, yeah, it's just, just cheaper since I don't have to get another night finder and I won't be using this anyway. Uh, so you can stay tuned for that. I do want to show you another night finder. Uh, this is the level 1, another one that I made earlier. And I specifically want to show you the coupler if I can get in camera there. See how um, you're looking straight down the barrel, yet the, or straight down the sights, yet the barrel's a tiny bit crooked. That's because the coupler is crooked and you do not want that. That is, uh, is very bad, just be, no, it's not very bad, but it's harder to aim with. Um, but this one is much straighter and I like it. This is minimized. You can also do this to your blaster. This is pretty much the smallest I would ever go minimization wise. Uh, fits really, really nicely in your pocket. Uh, this has all the exact same mods done, except has a K26 on the inside and uh, the thinner craft foam rather than the Ace number 49 and a thicker craft foam. They get the same ranges, just about, maybe this one a tiny bit more, just because of the craft foam, and um, they both have perfect seals, of course. And that's all I have to show you. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any comments or questions or anything like that, I will do my best to answer and maybe create even an update video on this. Uh, if you want to see the level 2, then also comments below. Thanks.